This visit, we about to leave. It says no. Yeah. Whatever. It's like, oh man. At the doctor's. Hey y'all. Um, I just came back from the mall. I am. Well, me and my daughter we're going to Ohio to see our family. Um, our plane leaves at 8, but we're getting to the airport at like 6 o'clock because if you know about Atlanta's airport, then you know you got to get there early. So I'm just going to show y'all what I got from the mall. I got me a, um, an outfit to wear on the plane and stuff. I got me some Adidas. But I got some Adidas, you know, just the basics. And then um, I got me some Tim's, y'all. I'm gonna win some Tim's for a minute. And up north, it's very, very cold. So I, just, I got these bad boys. Bam! <laughs> y'all, these, I think Tim's are so cute, especially on girls. And it smells so good. Don't y'all love the smell of a fresh shoe because I do <laughs> I do um and oh, no! I know y'all think that's nasty but um my brother told me that if you lick the bottom of a new shoe that you get that means you're gonna get more shoes so <gasps> that's what I did <laughs> so I got those I gotta pack those into my suitcase. And then I got some Nike socks. I don't really wear socks for real, but I just wanna get stay warm. And I got me an Adidas shirt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and a Adidas sweatsuit feel me just the basic black my daughter she has a pink one you'll see it later but she got a pink one so I, I wanted to match with her a little bit they didn't have a pink one in my size so I just got black because I like black so much I just got these you feel me but that's that's what I'm wearing to the airport yeah that's it that's what I'm wearing to the airport I need to finish packing you guys i packed one well i have two suitcases at first i was packing one but i couldn't fit everything in here packing for two people is a lot of work especially for a baby because i gotta put my breast pump in there i gotta pack her clothes i gotta make sure she has enough clothes diapers um stuff to bathe bathe her in stuff like that and you know it's just a very very different experience but I'm almost done packing. I can't wait to see my mom and my dad and all my brothers and my sister, y'all. Y'all don't understand. They are about to spoil my daughter. Like, they're about to spoil her. But I'll get back to y'all when I leave. Well, but, yeah.
This is my favorite part of the airport. <laughs> my daughter looks so amazed right now. So good on the plane. She was asleep the whole time. We about to get our baggies. About to get our bags. You feel me? Yo, I packed two big bags. So we're going to see how this works. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. So I know her, lady. I know her. I know G Mommy. Yeah. Tell mommy all about it. So I know that G Mommy lady. That's my girl. Say that's my girl. You know him too? <laughs> You know him? What's his name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's uncle. Joshua. Josiah. What's his name? Uncle Josiah. Uncle Josiah. <laughs> that uncle Josiah or uncle Si? Barely fifty. Hello, everyone. It is what is today is the twentieth. Today is Wednesday. It's hump day. It's hump day. <laughs> It's hump day. <laughs> um, today is Wednesday. We got in. Oh, we got into Ohio at like ten thirty last night, and you know we just kind of fell asleep. She actually like I fell asleep for real, like around twelve o'clock, and she stayed up. My mom had her last night, so I don't know how long she stayed up, but she stayed up. Probably till like 12.30, y'all. She usually sleep around that time, but she slept this morning mm, until like 7-ish. She woke up, and then she went back to sleep. You know, I fed her, gave her that good, good bread milk. That bread milk. What you know about that bread milk? Tell them what they know about that bread milk. Say, what you know about that bread milk? <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to... You know, get her a bath, change her clothes. I still got the same thing on from yesterday. I wish we would have took some pictures because we have matching outfits. Um, Don't judge me. Um, We're probably going to wear our sweatsuits again so I can take some pictures. But, you know, we wore our Adidas sweatsuits. You feel me? Say we was matching up in there. We was matching up in there. <laughs> but, y'all, my mom. Oh, my God. When, when you guys, like some of y'all might know, like when y'all get pregnant and stuff like that, you be like, how are my parents going to be at and stuff like that. If you have, especially if you, if you have the first grandchild, she going to be spoiled or he going to be spoiled. And she is a sub oil. Mom keep talking about, um, she's not going to put her down at all. Like girl, she, she got a real turn. She got a real turn. And I ain't trying to retrain her. 
on this routine because it was hard. It was very, very hard. Like, she sleeps through the night, which is ugh, so thankful because when she was first born, y'all, it was a lot of work. Like, I was up all night. But she sleeps through the night. She gets her, like, she probably gets, like, two to three naps in throughout the day. And, yeah, say yeah. And she loves putting her fingers in her mouth, y'all. I don't know what's up with that, but, yeah. But yeah, we just chilling right now. My mom and my dad went to work and my two little brothers are at school. So whenever they get home, yeah, I'm going to work out today. I'll probably go to the gym or something. But I got to stay on that routine. I'm really, really, really trying to get up at like 6 o'clock and go work out. But we're going to see how that goes. So we're going to see how that go. You feel me? You feel me, Queen? You feel me, Queen? <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to give her a bath, so I will be back. <laughs> Good Where my Queen at? Ten seconds later. Left foot, left foot. Yeah. Hit him with a jab. What did he do? She got her ears pierced. Not yeah. even at one years old. I got my ears pierced when I left the hospital. Dang. She was crying? Yeah, when they so, hey y'all. I am about to do the Insanity Max. Um, this is going to be my day one. I'm doing it for 60 days. So, you know, I'm just going to show y'all me doing my workout. You know, my results and stuff like that. But I have on my Khadijah's Corner Waist Shaper. You know, it's a little sweat belt. Help you get your waist cinched in. I am four months postpartum from having my daughter. And, you know, let's get it. This insanity is not a joke. It is not a freaking joke. <laughs> like, oh my god. It is. I'm 20 minutes in this stuff. Oh my god. Like, most of the stuff I'm doing is the modified version. And it's still kicking me, y'all. This is only day one. This is only day one. I'm going to keep going. I promise y'all I'm going to keep going. 
Cause mama, I gotta get right tight, y'all. I gotta get right tight. to start getting ready my friends invited me to go to um see the lights at the mall whatever and we're going to rescue bucky so that's going to be fun to link up with my friends um the friends that i'm going to be with tonight are friends that i have been friends with since high school i don't really wear makeup for real so i decided to wear some makeup since i brought it no, get killed, get killed, yeah, get killed. Um, so, what are we about to talk about? Oh yeah, one thing about being a mother, especially like at the beginning, Y'all, you can't really do nothing, for real. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you can't do nothing. Like, nothing without your child. Like, I find myself, like, like, I don't go out to the club or anything like that, but I'm just saying. Like, certain things, like, you can't really do. That doesn't involve your child. Or like, if I'm out, even if I'm out at the store, I be missing her, like, I be trying to rush, go to the store. I be rushing to the store and hurry up and get back so I can be with her. Or, like, if I'm out, I usually like to take her with me, for real. Because I feel like it's easier. I know a lot of moms know, like, when you're not around your child, you be wanting to be around them. Like, that's all you think about is your child. I hate this concealer. It's like too light. And it's starting to get cold out, which means my skin is getting lighter. So, I really don't know what this conceal. I mean, not concealer. Of course, the concealer don't really match. It's too light. But I don't know if this uh, foundation is going to match. But it looks like it matched perfectly. Okay, I wanna talk about breastfeeding. Um, okay, so breastfeeding, these are my opinions. This is like, I'm just gonna be honest. Like when, when I had my daughter Queen, I was like so stressed out about breastfeeding. Like I wasn't really into it cause I wasn't getting a lot of milk for real. So like, before before I left the hospital, I started getting milk. So I was feeding her that. But I still wasn't getting as much breast milk. So, like, every time she would need to eat, uh, I would have to pump, like, right when she hungry. So, like, I wasn't on a routine or anything. So, like, that was stressing me out. I would have, and, like, she wasn't really sleeping through the night for real. So I was, like, half asleep, trying to pump, trying to get her some milk. And at the time, she wasn't trying to latch on. I was trying to get her to latch on, but it wasn't working. So, like, y'all, it's stressful for y'all. I'm not going to lie. Y'all will be stressed, but I think breastfeeding is very important. Like, you, my daughter is 15 pounds, and she's four months old. Like, breastfeeding will make your child grow very healthy, very strong, and they won't get sick for real as they get older and I know somebody they used to be our neighbor 
And when I say this dude used to be sick all the time, he was sick a lot. Like, he would be missing school and stuff. And he told me that his mom didn't breastfeed him. Uh, so that's why he be so like, sick all the time. So I was like, that's really true. So, you know, I started getting hang the hang of it. And one of my boyfriend's friend, uh, she helped me um, get Queen to latch on. And I was so excited. Like at first, she wouldn't really latch on for real. But when she got to latch on, y'all, if we out or something like that, all I gotta do is um, pull that titty out. All I gotta do is pull that titty out. Sometimes I'll bring a bottle, but I I still pump. And I save, like, I save the bottles for, like, um, if, like, Joe's watching her or the nanny is watching her. But I just save the bottles, like, if I don't feel like um, breastfeeding her for real. Which, I mean, a bottle and a titty. They both uh, have breast milk coming out. She good. And, like, I'm trying to teach her to um, hold her, her own bottle. Like, she got it. But, like, she just she don't be trying to hold it for that long. My eyebrows looking cute. Looking cute. But, like, I think breastfeeding was the hardest thing for me so far. So far, breastfeeding was the hardest thing. What was the hardest thing for you guys when you guys became a first time mother for any mothers out there? Because breastfeeding was breastfeeding was the number one thing that was the hardest. And then the second hardest thing was getting her on a routine. Um, that was definitely hard because when I went back to Atlanta, man, I was not getting no sleep. No sleep at all. So I was like. I was like, my boyfriend came and got my daughter one night because, like, she wouldn't go to sleep. And, man, I was out in, like, two minutes. <laughs> I was knocked out. So, like, I'm just trying to tell y'all it's not easy. Like, all y'all women, y'all want to have babies. It's not hard. It is not hard taking care of another person. It's not hard. And I am a stay-at-home mom, so, like, I'm trying to get my own business together. Like, I have everything set and all that, but, like, you know, I'm just trying to get it where I have a, uh, a like, flowing income or whatever like that. But for the mothers that have to work and stuff like that or they have a non-shit-ass baby daddy, yeah. It's probably even harder, like, no shade or anything. I'm just trying to be real. Or y'all be trying to have babies with these men. And some of them don't want to take care of them. But a lot of lot of, a lot of, of men are taking care of their children, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I just want y'all to know that it's not hard. And I'm glad that I have a great support system. Like, my family is so involved. Even though they are in Atlanta, if I ever needed help or anything, oh, they gonna help. They love my daughter so much. Oh, this don't really match for real. I'm sorry. It's just like, it's like, I only run this kind.
that Morphe. Time for that glow. Y'all, I just did that. I did that. What? Look at these eyes. Look at these lips. about to go get a I think it's called a walker or whatever it's called for my daughter so she can sit in it because uh, I'm not about to be holding her and she do not want to be sitting in this car seat so we about to get something that she can sit in while she's here in Ohio and I got a little buoy with me <laughs> so, you know, I got my little brother with me so let's go oh, oh.
Always gotta get the one in the back. Look a little beat up, but it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Really, nigga. <laughs> you were smart. We got us a bigger cart. We got that boy in there. So we getting some cereal to put in her uh, breast milk when she drink out of the bottle so she can be more full. Cause your girl be hungry. A few moments later. So hey y'all, um, I just went to Walmart and the, the little seat that I got for my daughter, I opened it up and y'all, this stuff look like it's been used, like really used, like the the pieces that sit on the floor is dirty, got dust in it and stuff like that. And then like the part that my daughter would play on, it got food on it. It got like slobber or whatever you, whatever babies do when they play on a, on a toy. Like you know that somebody used it and abused it and then sent it back to Walmart. So I'm like, this is nasty. And then I don't even want to know what the seat looked like. Or what they did in the city, they probably peed in it, they pooped in it. Like, that is so unsanitary, that is so nasty. Like, Walmart need to, like, I know a lot of people that send stuff back to Walmart or anywhere. Especially, like, baby stuff. Y'all need to look at that stuff. Like, that is so nasty. That is, that to me is so trifling. Like, that irritated me. Like, I was so happy to put that thing together. And... It's all dirty and like the pe like you can tell they put it together because all the pieces you know like the little plastic that you put around uh little baby toys or whatever that you're about to put together it was all in it was all in a separate bag so I'm about to take this back get my money back and then they selling it for full price like that should be sold for like half the price honestly but ain't nobody got time to be um wiping those stuff down because I don't know what that baby had that was sitting in that. So I'm about to take this back, get my money back, and then after my brother's basketball game, I'm going to go to Target and get me a and get her something. Cause that's, that's so nasty. That's disgusting. Like disgusting. One more got me no that got me up. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, yes. I love my natural face. Like, I know I need my eyebrows done. I can do my eyebrows. I love my skin. Like, yes, honey. Yes. But makeup, it's, it just make you, like, it just make everything pop. Like, it just make everything pop. I might do my makeup for my brother's basketball game, even though it's just a basketball game. You know, I ain't trying to see nobody or nothing like that. I just like, you know, feeling good, feeling pretty. Even though I already feel pretty in my natural stages and stuff. But I might do my makeup again. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see if I should do my makeup or not. <laughs> Here, just, just, uh, uh. Mm. <laughs>